Well, you know? if you've got someone like Dan Hooker in your camp, mm. just that alone. When you have guys like you and him together, that's yeah. what forces everybody to the next level. And the everybody around you will rise up, too. They'll see what you're doing. Well, Daniel Hooker, the hangman, is just a beast. Beautiful timing, gorgeous technique from Dan Hooker. Sense it. Sense it. Sense it. Hey, go! Oh, you always like this. Yeah, I felt like my team's been um, training very hard. I made those first few sessions very difficult just to kind of weed out the people that didn't really want to be there. And now I've got a very strong like, core group of guys and girls that, that are just, just focused on the task and they, they want to get in there and they want to compete. Back in the last year, May in 2018, I've always wanted to uh, step into the ring, do boxing for a uh, fight, whether it's an uh, amateur or a charity fight. I report a lot on combat sports, and when I was out on one of my first jobs, I actually went to one of Mike King's seminars in rural Taranaki. Uh, he was talking to farmers about suicide awareness, and I saw that and how engaged everyone was in the message he was spreading, and I thought, yeah, this, this is something I have to get behind. For me personally, it's just coming here and actually not feeling depressed when I leave. Actually coming here, working hard, you know, making myself proud and then leaving here just feeling really good and really happy and myself again. Health issues and suicide has been in my life as, as, as long as I can remember. I really wanted just to um, uh, be part of that and be part of what Mike's doing. When I saw Icy Heavy Hitters um, post up on their Instagram and their Facebook that they're doing a charity, I thought um, what a way to raise funds for kids my age that are going through you know, mental illness and suicide. From the time of 18 to now I've lost six people that I went to school with through suicide um, and last, well, before last year's fight camp um, my best friend in the world uh, decided that he was going to, well he thought about taking his own life so that's why I've signed up because mental health in New Zealand is absolutely abysmal. Yeah, I had to ramp things up when, when Brad got put in charge there. I had to, you know, we had to start taking it very seriously because he's a very good coach. You know, I know that his guys will come in very prepared because he's been coaching for a long time. Just to come through um, 14 weeks out of this whole training session is a different man. I mean, I know that I already am uh, making it through the halfway point, uh, but so is everyone else. And make sure that everyone is a team, whether they get a fight or not. The best thing is doing it with just so many other people and everyone just above my age, so I learn a lot from them. For team selections, I was gassed after maybe the first 10 minutes. Now I'm a, a hell of a lot fitter, so that's probably it for me. You turn up, the coaching staff give you their best. The guys in the, um, in the team, they support everyone. Uh, it's, a, it's a really positive environment. It's really inclusive. Everyone's invited here. Everyone is um, encouraged to, enjoy, to join in. And it's just a really, it's a really enjoyable atmosphere. I really enjoyed it, um, enjoyed the sparring, um, I've enjoyed being hit um, and I've enjoyed hitting other people. Um, you know, you sit behind the desk all day, um, I've got three young kids, they keep me busy, um, so this is really just an outlet to um, have some fun and enjoy myself. If I could say one thing to everyone is to give it a go, you never know what you can achieve until you step up and give it a go. It is an amazing feeling and you walk out of there feeling on top of the world, win or lose. I reckon it's pretty fun and you just meet a lot of people. Um, even if you suck at boxing, I reckon you can learn so much from this. This is so much fun. It's easy, it's great. It's surrounded by great people, great coaching teams, and honestly, it's the most rewarding thing you could actually do. Just do it. Uh, the gloves are nice and padded. The punches don't hurt too much. Uh, the fitness side of thing is great. The, the message that you're spreading is even better. People need to know about the suicide rates in New Zealand and the only way they're going to know is if people actually spread that message. Fight night. Uh, I just hope everyone enjoys himself and, and, and goes out there and does themselves proud because after all of my experience and all of my fights, you just have to be uh, fight to show your character. Just give me someone in the top 10. Put some respect on my name. Fight a fight that you can be proud of. Win, lose, you get your ass kicked. As long as you're proud of your performance and you're stuck in there mentally the whole time, then you're going to reflect on it and you're going to be very proud of it. Uh, message to my opponent, I'm coming for you, mate. <laughs> Nothing to say, I'm just going to leave it out in the ring. <laughs>
I'm not really one for trash talk. Uh, I think we just need to get in the ring, you know, throw a few punches, see where the night goes, and just have a little bit of fun. Yeah, uh, whoever that may be, um, try and not hit me on this side. That's my, my best side. Aim for this side um, and be prepared because I'm fast. <laughs>